हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट हॉलिक द राइट प्लेस टू गेट योर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर दिस इज आर फर्स्ट वीडियो इन द प्ले लिस्ट ब्रिज इंजीनियरिंग एंड डिजाइन लेट एस बिगिन विद द लेक्चर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टडी फर्स्ट द जनरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ ब्रिज सेकेंड द मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ अ ब्रिज एंड थर्ड द टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रिजेस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एज वी ऑन लो द जनरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ ब्रिज इज A bridge is a structure built to span physical obstacle such as a body of water, valley or road without closing the way underneath. We can relate this definition with the day-to-day -day bridge structures which we see in our lives. Moving on to the major components of a bridge. As we can see here, the entire bridge structure can be divided into three components. The first one is the superstructure, the second one is the substructure, and the third one is the foundation the portion of the structure which directly receives the live load from the moving traffic is called as the superstructure it transfers the load from the traffic to the substructure below it the superstructure includes three components they are the deck slab the girders and the bearings we will be learning about them in detail in the upcoming slides next is the substructure the substructure are the members which transfer the load which they have received from the superstructure on to the foundation the substructure include piers and abutments foundation the foundation which is mainly used in bridge engineering is the pile foundation or the well foundation moving on this is a typical view of a bridge as we have discussed earlier the deck along with the girders on which it is supported see these are the girders the bridge deck is supported on these girders so the deck along with the girders and the bearing together form the superstructure part of the bridge these are the abutments abutments are nothing but the end support to the bridge the abutments along with the piers these are the piers or the columns the piers are nothing but the intermediate support to the bridge so the abutments along with the piers form the substructure part of the bridge and these are the foundation on which the piers rest hope this diagram is cleared moving on let us understand the function of each component in detail as we can see here the deck is the major component of the bridge on which the vehicles move the deck is usually provided with a wearing coat the function of this wearing coat is to prevent the structural concrete of the bridge deck from damage and to provide sufficient camber to the bridge deck next is the girders the girders are nothing but the horizontal beams provided in the longitudinal direction to support the slab deck as we have already seen next are the bearings the bearings is one of the important components of the bridge and plays a important role in the transfer of load as we can see here bearing is a device which supports the parts of the superstructure and transfers load and movements from the deck to the substructure and allows controlled movement due to temperature variation etc and thereby reducing the stresses involved as we can see here this is an elastomeric bearing it is provided between the superstructure and the substructure and it helps in reducing the stresses and makes the load transfer from the superstructure to the substructure easier moving on these are the abutments the abutments are the end supports and they retain the earth on the back side of the bridge as we can see here now piers as we have already seen piers are the intermediate supports to the bridge pier is that part of the substructure which transfers the load from the superstructure to the foundations piers are usually compression members however depending upon the loading there may be eccentricity sometime and the piers may be subjected to bending occasionally now moving on to the classification of bridges the bridges are classified mainly into five categories they are first the reinforced concrete bridges 
second the pre stressed concrete bridges third the steel bridges and fourth the steel concrete composite bridges and fifth the cable supported bridges hope all the concepts are cleared do like share and subscribe to our channel for more such videos on bridge engineering